Ed here, info spot 411 YouTube channel, another junkyard haul. I, right here, 2008 Chevy van. I'm with my good friend Brad. Brad, if you have a second, can you briefly tell the ladies and gentlemen on YouTube what we have going on here today? We're going to take out a 19, 2000, sorry, 2008 Chevy 4.8 liter LS base Vortec motor out this work van here. Okay. All right. There we are. All right, let's get to it. This is the motor in the Chevy van, what's left of it. We're going to pull this out of here. Computer's still here, so I'm taking that too. Okay. That's yeah. the newest style computer. Oh, is that what they refer to as an ECM? Right here. That's the ECM there, and that's the trash controller right here. Oh, okay. We'll be taking all of that. All right, I'm going to we'll walk around a little bit. I got the camera rolling. Do what you do. You got to cut it down, you'll be out of here. By the time you get back, take you out. Okay.
always get a good score over it for you. Continental freestyle and came with the Mercury something. I think it was Where did you see it? Well, I always usually get a good score over at the Ford uh, section there with owner's manuals. Not long. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it. had Highland Park police car all tore up the hill. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, they have, yeah, two or three of them. Yeah. Just two. My boat, and out you go. Get on out of here. All right, I got a recording. Make sure I don't have any surprises. I shouldn't. Gen 4. Smallest of the Vortec LS family. Okay. Plenty of life left. Going up on the hoist. Take that 
Okay. Good deal. Okay, let me get my gloves on. People get a kick out of this seeing the big crane here. All right. We did it. Nice. We did it again. We know it. All right, yeah. Uh, All right, 2003 Yukon. Uh, Brad, real quick, what are we taking out of here today? Uh, it's got some Flowmaster exhaust, good pipes. Pipe, taking it all off this Yukon XL. All right, so flow. Use that on my Silverado. Okay. Save some money. Oh yeah. Let me get everybody a look at. Here's the exhaust in here. Uh, right in there. He's got the saw. He's gonna get to work here. Get this exhaust out. It's like the muffler there. Oh, that's not good, yeah.
one imitation flow master. Okay, one flow master. An imitation, not, not the real thing. Not the real thing. Just good enough. Oh, your cell phone's underneath you, by the way. Your black cell phone. Uh, yep. Exhaust. No Flowmaster name. Just a knockoff Flowmaster, but it'll do. Okay, it'll it'll work. It'll work for my truck. Okay, knockoff Flowmaster off this uh, GMC Yukon, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we got here. Or Chevy, right? Isn't it? GMC. GMC. Okay, I got it right. Okay, yep, GMC. Knockoff Flowmaster. All right, not bad. Part of the junkyard haul today. Considering what they charge it. All right. This is the deal. Get it yourself. Save some money. That's how it works, everybody. One more piece. Hey, just like the courthouse. See the cashier on the way out. <laughs> 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 this is a 1996 Chrysler LHS. This was Chrysler's competition to the Cadillac and Lincoln back in the day before they had the 300. And we'll take a look at this car, what's left of it. Here's the trunk. You can see it's pretty much gutted out. This was a nice car back in the 90s and uh, before they did the Chrysler 300. Let me open this up. Pretty much all gutted out now, but you can see the nice uh, the seats here. They're pretty beat up, but the leather seats. This was a nice sedan car and this was Chrysler's uh, competition, like I said, to the Lincoln and the Cadillac back in the day. This is a 1997 Ford Probe. This was kind of a different type of two-door car back in the 90s. Um, let's take a look inside here real quick. You could see it had the real big door here where it, it, it came out. You know, kind of at that time in the 90s, a little bit of a futuristic design. Uh, this is pretty much all boned out here in the scrap yard, but I haven't seen one of these in years. It was a two-door car, different. It was much different than a lot of the two-door cars in its day in the 90s. Um, not quite a sports car, I, I, but brings back some memories here. Although this one is unfortunately pretty smashed up and beat up here. But this is the Ford Probe. It's a 1997. 
Okay, this is a 2005 Malibu. I just thought I'd show you guys this. This is pretty much what it, it looks like where the, the airbags go off. If you get in an accident from the steering wheel right there, and there's the passenger side airbag. They're deflated now, but that's right where they come out. If you get in a bad accident, that's where they come out. This is 2005 Malibu at the scrap yard. So it'll save your life, an airbag. Hopefully you never get in an accident where they have to go off. This is a 1998 Dodge Neon. Now the Neon was a very popular car in the 90s. I mean, it was cheap as far as price, as nice little, you know, small four-door car. A lot of people had the uh, Dodge Neons in the 90s. We'll take a look at it here. Not much left of this. Like I say, this is a 1998. Um, we'll take a look around. Pretty beat up. Well, it is a junkyard. What do you expect, you know? Here's the inside, what's left of it, but here's a front little instrument panel. I mean, this was nothing too fancy about this. This was just like an affordable car for college kids or, you know, people on a budget. They, they These neons are a big selling car back in the 1990s. Let's see if the trunk opens here. Yep. Yeah, I got a small little trunk. Here's the back of it. This had the little fin on it. But I just wanted to take a, you know, a quick, short little look here at this Dodge Neon. Like I say, um, if you were around in the 1990s, you will remember this car. It was huge. It was a big selling car in the 1990s from Chrysler, the Dodge Neon. Found one here in the scrapyard. Okay, this is a 2002 Buick Park Avenue. Um, what I want to show you on this is, this was big back in the day. I want to say the 90s into the early 2000s. They put the CD players in the trunk here. So, let me see if you can move that. But, yeah, you would take your CDs and you could put like 12 of them in that little trunk player. And then it would, that was connected to your radio up in the front. I mean, this is something obsolete, but it's, uh, it's interesting to say the least, though. But, uh, yeah, this was big back in the day. They put the CD players in the trunk, and this is one here on this Buick Park Avenue, 2002. Well, we found a nice little score in the junkyard hall. Here's a set of brake pads. If you see, here's my finger right here. Hardly even used. Hardly even used. Uh, some semi-metallic uh, brake pads here for this uh, Yukon. Like new. Oh, here's a car I haven't seen in years. The Plymouth Acclaim Chrysler car. This is a 1995 Plymouth Acclaim. We'll take a look at it here in the junkyard. Just doing a little walk around. Really, uh, box is squared off. Kind of 90s, 80s style. It wasn't until around the mid-90s they started, you know, making the cars more aerodynamic. Let's see the front here. Nope. Oh, I'll go around that side and take a look. Uh, V6. What is this? Is uh, oh, three liter. It says here. It looks like. Anyway, this is the engine. The old Plymouth Acclaim. 1995. You see the big airbag right there. Not a bad four-door car in its day. Something to take a look at here. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. 1995 Plymouth Acclaim.